What's up guys, Mr. Lee Redman here with episode number one of the Gibraltar Challenge. Uh, that's right guys, I have stupidly decided to um, replace one of my uh, other series, the series, um, the career mode, which wasn't going very well. I've decided to replace with the challenge with Gibraltar to see what I can do with them. Um, you could say I'm kind of regret I'm not regretting it in a moment. I've just realised it's going to be a fucking long haul. To be fair, uh, I've done up to the end of December, and it's just gone. It's gone really weird already. Um, it's gone. I would say shocking, but not really. So, basically, as everyone knows who's been following my channel, I've did three series before this one. I did a challenge with, well, not a challenge. I did file Bristol City, my team, which has now ended. I did a career mode, which is now ended as well, and I'm doing an unemployment challenge, which I am carrying on at the moment, which is the one that a lot of people were watching. Now, I've replaced the career mode with this challenge, and this, to be honest, is challenge is probably the best word to use. Um, in the other three, in the three series I'd done, I'd done two seasons on the career mode, two seasons in Bristol City, two or three with um, the unemployment I'm not quite sure which one it is to be fair I've done well I've done two full seasons in Ireland but I think that might mean three in uh, the rest of it now in all that time the Gibraltar national team have won one game against a team called a uh, nation called Bonaire who I think basically were in the same mode or the same thing as um, Gibraltar really because they were what was in Netherlands and Tealers according to Wikipedia and they've kind of broken away now That's the only game the, the main team had won in those three I think the under 21s have won a couple and the under 19s have won a couple So I think in overall it wasn't in double figures. I know that for a fact. I think it's about four or five wins in f What is essentially seven seasons? Now I can basically s I think I've worked out why already that's happening when I got to this, when I started out, the Gibraltar squad only had about seven players. So I went to the national pool to bring some more in. And let's have a look at this. You have one, two, f one, no, sorry, one, two, three, seven players over the age of 21. The rest, well, I mean, look how many under 16s there are. So the under 17, well, the under 19s may not actually be that bad, to be quite frank. And the under 21s may have a decent shot in a couple of years. But the main squad is pretty poor to be quite honest I mean you've got Danny Higginbottom who's obviously playing in England now was it Man United uh, you've got a couple of players in Italy and England one in Spain as well or two in Spain and then the rest are in Gibraltar I do have the Gibraltar leagues loaded up so I'm hoping to get you know, I reckon about five years time is where we'll start doing stuff five seasons time I think to be honest with you so we'll have to wait and see what happens there um, just to show the Gibraltar leagues We've got the Gibraltarian Division 2, as it's called. As you can see, eight teams, two go up. And then you've got the main division, which is College, Cosmos, Man, and all that lot. Now, to show what it's like, Lincoln had about 30-odd players. St. Joseph had a few. And I think it was Man United had a few. The rest of them, even though they do now, had no players. They basically had to bring in every single player they've got in their squad. Look at that. Only three teams actually had players essentially, so that's what it's like. Um, so that's why I've basically got to run with as well. So we'll have a look at the, this. Is a squad I've got at the moment. Anyone over the age of 21 actually went straight in there, despite how rubbish they are. So I mean, look at that. We got quite a few 16-year-olds and 17s, which isn't too bad if you actually look at the fact that I've got three 16-year-olds playing, essentially. And I've got a few in the squad that don't even have clubs. So that's the other thing that's not really helping. So it's going it's to be a long haul. It is going to be a long haul. I reckon it's going to be at least five years before anything actually happens. Um, my goal really was to score a goal, which I actually have, thankfully. Uh, unfortunately, I think I played Bonaire and lost, so I'll show you that in a second. So that's why I think it's going to be a long haul. The under-19s aren't going to be too bad. I mean, I'll have a look at the... Um, the squads now. I mean, the under 19s. You see, they've won a game. They've beat um, San Marino in a friendly 2-1. Uh, Douglas Asquez and Dyson Lopez scoring for us. 
did pretty appalling in the uh, qualifiers for the Euros. Under 21s, they've not won a game. They've lost f all four, lost to Singapore twice, Estonia, and Moldova. And I will get on to me. See, so they've lost all four games, quite heavily in quite a few of them. 5 0 at home to Canada. Junior Hoyle put Canada in front. And I was actually 1 0 down until the 69th minute. Then an Ian Hume scored, and then Simeon Jackson scored in the 74th minute. A third and 90th minute to complete a 16 minute hat trick. Stats wise, it's 32 shots of 2 to Canada, 13 to 0 on target, and they had 57% possession. I then had the game which I thought I had a chance of winning, which was Bonaire away, but I lost 2 1. So now I may put Bonaire 1 0 up in the 14th minute, I made it 2 on the half hour. Adam Priestley pulled one back, and we did have chances to pull it back, but we just couldn't take him. 11 shots to 6 in their favour. Six on target to my three, and they got 54% possession. I think I lost 4 1 in Latvia. Gatis Astafes in the second minute. Cohen in the 18th. Astafes again in the 23rd. And Rudnevs in the 30th minute, put them 4 0 up. And Priestley did pull one back in the 57th to give us a goal, and our first goal, or second goal. Shots was 22 to 9 in their favour. They had 8 on target to my four, and 50% possession. Final game was a thump in a Belarus 7 0. Bocheski, uh, 18th minute. Grashino, 26th. Bocheski again in the 31st and Tedman in the 42nd. And then you had uh, Yarkov, 55th, 57th. And Makhlov in the 76th. Gave it 7 0. 27 shots to 6 in their favour. 14 time target to my none. And 52% possession. So that's how it's gone. I've got one friendly so far next year, and that is San Marino. So we'll wait and see. Um, one thing I did realise a little while ago, actually, is we don't have a world ranking. I've actually now found that out, as I just completely forgot that we are not actually members of um, FIFA. We're only members of UEFA. That's why we're not actually playing any... Uh, that's why we're not going up anywhere because we're well we ain't got a ranking basically because we are basically um uh where's it going we are essentially a club club a team that's not part of fifa that's basically what it is don't know what happened there guys i got really lost there um so i've got one friendly next season so far it's against san marino something i've just realized and i need to check now is the european championship qualifiers so the draw is going to be scheduled on the 9th of February. So I think I might actually go to that. And if I can do a live draw, I think I might do it. So it's going to be interesting. I know I'm going to get absolutely slaughtered. And the weird thing is, is that basically I'm always going to be low. I'm always going to be in the bottom pot every time because there's no world rankings. Unless it gets changed for UEFA, I don't know. But I'm going to be in the bottom pot every single time. So it's going to be interesting. Um, so... That is it for this episode, guys. Leave some likes, leave some comments, subscribe. Uh, and tune in next time for, hope possibly, a live Euros qualifying draw. Um, what I'm going to attempt, what I normally will do, is just do a review at the end of every single year, I think. Because we're obviously not going to be playing many games in a year. It's probably going to be about eight or nine if you include the Euro qualifiers. So we'll just I'll probably just do yearly um updates to be honest. But until next time guys, as always, take it steady.